Hello and welcome. This is a Mr. Sanamon uh, tech tutorial. Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say this is sort of impromptu, so uh, it may not be quite as professional as um, uh, you know other things that I might do. Hopefully, I think those are professional. Um, basically, I want to kind of go over some uh, basic tech stuff, and we'll kind of build on that in future tutorials. So, um, basically I just wanted to start off with, um, you know, what is a computer? Um, and to answer that question, you first need to know, you know, um, how old computers are. Well, a computer could just be, you know, um, any sort of counting device. It's just an automated way of doing calculation. <coughs> Um, but in our context, what a computer is, is a um, electronic binary device that um, performs calculations and presents output, basically. Um, so binary, so what is binary? Binary is an on or off value. And that's how our computer does everything based on on or off values. A huge, 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 huge number of those. Huge number of on or off values. So, um, now that you know what a computer is, now it's sort of time to get more practical. So, um, now a computer runs something called an operating system. This isn't, uh, Again, this is sort of impromptu, so I'm kind of going this in the order that I feel like. An operating system is a set of code that allows advanced input. For instance, you see this? What I'm doing right here. This is called, this would be advanced input. This is an operating system. And I know these these may not may, may conflict with your A plus you know sort of what is this definition always go with the A plus definition over mine. Um, <coughs> so to know what operating system you're using, um, obviously if you're using Windows, there will be one of these little orbs or possibly a start down here. You can go to CMD, and uh, what basically what I've done here was I typed in CMD, hit enter, type in ver and you get Microsoft Windows version 6.1.7600 but I'm way ahead of myself okay so we know what an operating system is and we know what it allows you to do everything that you see on this screen right now is an operating system and basically um, that in essence is what you what you're always going to interface with is an operating system you know set a code that um, basically allows for advanced input and output and then you go over here and let's take a look. I'm uploading a video to YouTube in something called a web browser. Web browser. Web browsers are basically what allows you to what allows you to view web pages on the internet. And an operating system allows you to connect to the internet. So it's sort of coming full circle. And if you go to say something like Facebook or whatnot, you can um, you're browsing to the internet by making a connection in your operating system and then browsing over a web browser sort of comes full circle so there are a couple of there are two types of components to computer there's the software component and I don't know if I spell component right hardware uh, you have hardware so software is basically code and hardware is basically tangible stuff. Anything you can touch with your hands is going to be hardware. Your case, hardware. Motherboard, hardware. RAM, hardware. So, <coughs> it's always best to start off with hardware when we're going through this. So, the most important part of your, arguably, is going to be your motherboard. And a motherboard is a central hub for the connection of other pieces of hardware. Basically your motherboard is the spine of your computer. 
spine. We'll do a body analogy. So the motherboard is the spine. Then the second most important thing is the CPU. It is the brains of the computer. It performs calculation. Then you have <coughs> your RAM, which is the short term memory of your computer. And then you have your hard drive, which is long term memory. And then you have your case, which is your computer's skin and skeleton. Then you have your mouse, your keyboard, which are, you know, your eyes, your ears of the computer, you know, your speakers, etc. But basically those are the main components of the computer, and all of those go in the case, also known as the chassis. So the, K, uh, the hard drive, the RAM, the CPU, the motherboard. Um, you also have something called a video card, which we'll get into later. And some people have a sound card. So these are things that will be in your computer a lot of the time. Okay, and that that's sort of the basics of <coughs> how you're going to be interfacing with your, or learning about your computer. Basically, we'll learn about these things one at a time in future future tutorials. Okay, moving on. What is uh, what what should we do next? So we're going to take a look at um, let's take a look at the motherboard first. So let's let me find my tool. And why can't I do this? Black. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> and Blackville. Okay. Sorry, I'm a paint noob. Okay, so let's learn about our motherboard, and I will write it um, in purple. Motherboard. <coughs> what does the motherboard do? It allows for hardware to communicate. It is like the highway or the spine of your computer. Central nervous system. It sets standards for compatibility. In other words, if something is you want to see if something is compatible with your computer, usually the first place you check is your motherboard. What else does a motherboard do? It um, provides space for cards and processor. And it, it sets speeds. So if something is going slow, um, the bus on your motherboard, you know, maybe the point between RAM and CPU may be slower. So it does set a maximum speed. So it sets, you know, maximum speeds. Kind of. <coughs> well, yes, it does. But it's very difficult to notice because you're not going usually other things are going to be limiting your speed first so that's what the motherboard does and there are many standards so what are motherboard standards motherboard and we'll change the color for this because it is a more of a it's more of a hardware thing so motherboard standards it, it is referring to the size and shape of the motherboard the orientation orientation of components and I'll just pull up a picture of a motherboard for you here we go 
Let's see, let's find a good one. Here's a picture, a good picture of a motherboard. See the uh, components and all this looks kind of scary. The motherboard is that big purple board with all these slots on it. There are some other things in this board, but that's a general idea of what a motherboard is. Okay. <coughs> So what are the standards? Well, you have the most common, which is ATX. ATX is going to fit in most cases, so the standard size for a motherboard is going to be in reference to the case. So let me write that up here. Reference to what case it will fit in. And, and also to some extent what components will go into it. Then you have micro and mini ATX which are for smaller computers you have BTX which is a sort of defunct sort of uh, standard for uh, it's cooling efficient and then you have NLX and basically the one you'll want to focus on is that one most of the things you'll want to know. Um, another thing is every one micro and mini ATX will fit usually in a case that supports regular ATX. Big bonus if you don't want to spend a lot of money or you want to have a smaller smaller case etc. So a lot of the time big cases will fit all three standards while well, small cases will usually only fit one standard. <coughs> and then NLX is sort of defunct. Um, so both of these I'm just going to put in blue because they're sort of defunct. They're sort of out of date. And we'll put them, drop them down here. Okay. Now, now that we've gotten a sort of an idea of what the, what the motherboard, what type of motherboards you're going to be looking at, um, let's take a look at. ATX and we'll take a look at ATX in the next um, little tutorial because I need to get some materials on it because you'll want to have some pictures which would be absolutely lovely and um, if you liked this video um, please make sure you comment like subscribe and share also, um, <coughs> this has been a Mr. Sanamon production. Um, if this conflicts with standards, you know, let me know. Um, if or make requests, make requests. I take requests. I will make videos for you guys. Um, and also, uh, thanks for watching. Anywho, have a nice day, and thanks again for watching. This has been a Mr. Santamon production. Goodbye.